Michaela Vernava alongside Doug Kide at Gillette Stadium where the Patriots are coming off yet another win, a week three win against the Jacksonville Jaguars. And Doug, just week after week, Tom Brady is looking more and more reminiscent of the 07 Tom Brady. I mean, this guy is just on a vengeance rampage. Yeah, and if anything, he looks like he's even better than the 2007 version right now. Uh, you know, I've been watching Tom Brady for quite a few years now, and I'm not sure if I've ever seen him quite as precise, quite as accurate as he played in these last few games, especially on Sunday against the Jaguars. You know, Brady's really on fire right now, and it, it looks like he really is putting together possibly his best season of his NFL career. And now Jags week is one that most Patriots fans and a lot of people think is one that's just definitely in the bag, but not Bill Belichick. He said that he had been preparing for this matchup since April. And how does that preparation show on the field? Well, the, the Jaguars are a team that the Patriots don't play very often, obviously. So they don't really know the team very well. They didn't know the system very well. But I mean, we we saw it on Sunday, 51-17. The Patriots really did just kind of obliterate the Jaguars. I'm not sure how much of that is preparation and how much of it is the Patriots just being that much better of a team than the Jaguars are. Obviously, Blake Bortles, second-year quarterback. When Bill Belichick, who's obviously a defensive genius, is preparing for a guy like Bortles, Patriots definitely have the advantage there, but no, they came right out of the gate, you know, swinging. The, the offense was great. The defense was great. I think a lot of that does have to do, obviously, with the Patriots' preparation and the fact that they had been planning for this game for so long. And, Doug, we talked after week one about how Rob Gronkowski is just pretty much virtually unable to be defended. How have week two and then again in week three, how has that solidified your feelings on that? Yeah, I mean, on Sunday against the Jaguars, he was held to four catches, but he had over 100 yards. So it really is pretty much impossible to stop this guy. You can double team him. You can put a linebacker on him. You can put a safety on him. But there's no great matchup there for him. He's just the, the complete package there at tight end. And you know, once again, it seems like he's having probably the best season of his career. So this Patriots offense really is just really clicking right now. And then on defense, Jamie Collins against the Jaguars brought his season sack total to three and a half, puts him on pace for 18 on the season. What do you think about his development? Yeah, he's really coming on strong this season. Uh, weeks one and two, I didn't think he was that great against the run, but he was actually very good against the Jaguars against the run. He's very aggressive out there, chasing running backs down from behind. And that pass rush skill right now is just really on full display. All right. Thanks, Doug, for all your Patriots news. Keep it on Nesson.com.